After this video, you'll be a Like to Know It and Reward Style Pro. I'll tell you exactly what to do in order to get accepted into the program, share my best tips on posting on the LTK app, and how you can make blogging your full-time job just from this affiliate marketing app. My name is Sonali and I've been on YouTube for about six years now. I have been using this app for as long as I can remember, but I'm just now learning the exact tools on what's making me the most money. So I wanna share everything I know about Like to Know It and Reward Style with you today so that you don't waste any time making money. To start off this video, I wanna explain exactly what Like to Know It and Reward Style is. They are two applications, but they do go hand in hand. You may have seen your favorite influencer or blogger post about their Like to Know It profile, and this is where they'll link their beauty favorites, home decor favorites, and outfit of the day, so you can shop from the app. When you shop on their profile in the app or use any of their affiliate links, they will get commission and this is called affiliate marketing. I would kind of describe reward style as the back end of like to know it. So not everyone is going to see exactly what reward style is because only influencers and brands can really see what's going on in reward style. So this is where you can see your analytics. You can see how much commission you made and all of just like the back end kind of stuff. If you are a part of the community, you can actually post from both the reward style app and the like to know app. You're probably thinking, this sounds awesome. How do I join this program? And unfortunately, it is an exclusive community, so it's not very easy to join, but I'm going to share my best practices on how to get accepted into reward style. First off, you're going to have to have some kind of platform, whether that's Instagram, a blog, YouTube, or now a TikTok. And there's probably so many more that I'm not mentioning, but definitely make sure that you have a lot of content on there so that when you are applying on reward style, they can look to see that you've been doing it for a good amount of time. I'm not sure if there's a follower requirement, but I have seen people under 2000 followers on Instagram get accepted. So don't get discouraged, just post consistently. So you get accepted, you're going to want to start posting on the Like to Know it app. I truly regret after all these years not posting on the app. I think I started to here and there, like maybe six pictures in like 2015. But other than that, I really just started posting, I would say this year, and I'm really gonna try to make it a point to post consistently. And I'm really excited to share all my tips with you guys because I feel like I finally got it down to a T. I really only use reward style to collect links from the Link Ninja extension, which I'll talk about a little bit later, and put into my YouTube description so that I can make a little bit of commission from those links. Um, but like I said, I wasn't posting on the LTK app and it honestly makes me so mad that I didn't. Posting on the app consistently will actually help you gain a following on there. There's a few tabs that say trending, recommended, and all that stuff. So essentially there is a for you page or explore page on the app. So whenever I'm bored, I'll just go through those tabs and follow people on there just to get outfit inspo or see what staples I should be carrying in my closet. And then I actually find those people on the app and then go follow them on Instagram. So I feel like it's a good way to grow your platform in general. One of the first things that you're going to want to do is to download the link Ninja extension. I will link where you can download it and it has a really simple tutorial on their site on how to just like set it up. But basically this is where you're going to pull majority of your links from. You'll pull up the dress that you want to link and literally all you have to do is click the link ninja extension and it'll pull up the link and you can actually add it to your folders, your favorite folders here. And I highly recommend starting to favorite everything that you own or, you know, your beauty favorites, your home decor, just start favoriting everything and putting them into your your folders and really try to organize it from the get-go because this will help you in the long run. Also, I'm pretty sure that you can really only add folders in the reward style app on your phone. So just a heads up, I couldn't really find another way to create new folders and like label them, but from everywhere else, you can access those folders and add to them. It is time for me to break the bad news to y'all. Unfortunately, not every store is linkable through reward style and like to know it. For example, Princess Polly isn't linkable and there's so many stores that you probably shop at that are not linkable, but but there are so many that are linkable. So that is the good news. For bigger brand names, sometimes you'll get lucky and find that boutiques sell that brand. So for example, I had this lack of color hat that I loved and I had to link for you guys. So I searched everywhere and I finally found this boutique that carried the exact lack of color hat and I was able to link it through them. Since I've been posting on the app pretty consistently, I think ever since March of last year, I really started to only buy clothes and home decor and beauty stuff from stores that I can actually link on the platform. I did used to go thrifting quite a lot in college and a little bit after post-grad, but I kind of stopped doing that because it's so hard to find the exact product and link it afterwards, unless it's a big brand that you're buying on Poshmark, like Lululemon that you can like easily link. But if you're buying like a random flannel that doesn't have like a brand name, 
it's just hard to find the exact one. If you're gonna slowly invest into your wardrobe and only shop from stores that are linkable, I highly recommend not shopping from fast fashion stores like Boohoo and Misguided and even Forever 21 because sometimes I'll buy a shitload of stuff from Misguided because it's so freaking cute. I want to show you guys. I filmed the haul later that week and then half of the things are not even on the site anymore. Like they sold out and they're probably not going to be restocked because they're so trendy. So that's why I got inspired to start shopping at stores like Abercrombie and Urban Outfitters that have pieces for a really, really long time and they don't sell out that fast. If you are running into this problem where you can't find the exact thing that you ordered, you can always use this site called Like Dat. You basically upload a picture of what you want to link and it will pull affordable lookalikes. It will pull a little bit more expensive lookalikes and it's just a really good way to find similar looking products so that you can link it for your followers. Now let's talk about the best practices when posting on Like To Know It. They say it's best to post two to three times a day and I really recommend trying to think of when people are going to actually be on the app or when people are going to feel like they want to shop, which is definitely not really during work hours. So I would recommend to probably post around late afternoon and evening. Make sure you're not posting your content back to back because when I see this on my feed, I feel like I just want to unfollow the person. So this is where you can use the scheduling option, which is so nice that they have it. They actually have it on both the reward style app and like to know it app. And if I didn't say this already, you can post from both apps, which kind of gets confusing, but I'll tell you guys which app I prefer posting on. When you do post from the like to know app and you have selected all the things that you want to link, you need to make sure that you're filling in every one of these circles and I know it says to only do this for the exact products that you're linking and not similar or dupes but I recommend doing it for all because for the ones you don't select they actually collect them in a group and they put text on it that says related items so you can't really visibly see it laid out which is definitely annoying because your followers are most likely not going to click on the related items I personally never do because I just like to see it all laid out so make sure you're selecting everything that you're linking in that post I personally prefer to post from the reward style app because you can enable the image to post on your Instagram. They have all these really good templates for call to actions, like check out my like to know it where you can shop, blah, blah, blah. And it's just a really good tool to educate your followers about like to know it and really how to use it. I also like posting from the reward style app because you don't have to worry about selecting all of the items that you linked in order for them to show up like I showed you earlier. It actually just does it automatically and it doesn't do any of that related items kind of thing. The next tip is something that I definitely have to work on, but that is just to make sure that you post your content in the like to know app first and enable the image for Instagram and everything and then post it on your Instagram with the link and tagging like to know it and everything like that because you just want to get your followers used to seeing that on your profile and knowing to go to the like to know app for anything that you've linked. Like I said, they have a bunch of templates that you can throw in your Instagram caption to get your followers educated on how to use the app, but I do highly recommend just going on your stories every once in a while, maybe like every month or every other month and telling your followers that you have a like to know it profile, this is how you use it, this is how you access it this is how you can shop my exact items that I will be linking this will be so helpful for you in the long run because it will minimize the amount of DMS asking where things are especially if you already linked it on your like to know app if you do not have a swipe up for your Instagram stories do not worry there is still a way that people can shop your feed you're gonna want to have something like a link tree so basically a link tree is a website that you can go and make a profile on and it is just one page of all of these different links labeled so I have shop my feed my my YouTube channel, my TikTok, um, I used to have my gift guides during the holidays, maybe my Amazon storefront, just things that you are often talking about. And this is just a very helpful resource to have when your followers are constantly asking, where can I find this? How can I get to this? You know, you can just point them to the link in your bio and go to shop my feed. If you do have a swipe up, first of all, congratulations, because this is what everyone wants. But second of all, definitely make sure you're being active on your stories. I've been challenging myself to put up 10 Instagram stories every single day. And when I'm talking about a random product, Product, I'll go ahead and link it because you want to get your followers used to you linking things. This will be really helpful, especially when you start to get sponsorships and you'll have to link to the website that you're being sponsored by. Hopefully by then your followers will be used to swiping up on your stories and really engage with your sponsored content. Next, I want to talk about utilizing the reward style visual features on your blog. To access this, you're going to want to pull up reward style on a desktop and then click apps and you'll see a drop down menu. You'll see three options, lookbook, boutique, and money spot. 
that. If you do have a blog, I highly recommend using these tools because it's just an awesome visual to really see the product that you're talking about instead of just linking the product name and the product link. After you make the visual on reward style, it will create an embed code and you will just copy it and paste that onto your blog and it should show up. This is what a lookbook is. This is what a boutique is. Totally forgot to add this in, but this is what Shop My Post looks like. And this is what a money spot is. This is definitely my favorite visual because you can actually click directly on the picture and whatever product that you're interested in, and it will take you to the product link. I used this on my holiday gift guides this year, and they were a hit. Next, I'm gonna talk about everything you need to do to be successful in the reward style program. You're gonna definitely wanna look at your analytics pretty often and take note of what stores do well on your platforms, where your followers are actually buying from, and and how much money they're actually spending on each order. This will tell you if you need to be focusing on more affordable products or if your audience doesn't mind splurging here and there or if they're into home decor. This is definitely helpful when planning out your content. See what does well for you and try to recreate that. You can actually also look into your analytics on just the Like to Know It app. I've actually seen that product collages do really well. Unfortunately, they do take a little bit of time, more time than just linking a picture that you take because you actually have to make the visual content. I do it in Photoshop and I actually made a template that I use every single time, but it does still take a while to, you know, import the images and place them so that they're visually aesthetic and people actually want to buy from that product collage. Other content pieces that you should be linking are close-up photos, maybe a beauty post. You can link all your everyday makeup, um, candid photos. Maybe you can link your best friend's outfit if you know what they're wearing. Mirror selfies of your outfit of the day. Flat lays apparently do really well for some people. And recently they made it so that you can actually post video content too. So you can post your reels and your TikToks, especially when I do fashion TikToks. It's so nice to be able to upload the whole video because I can link everything in that video just in one post. I highly recommend to plan ahead of time. Pull up a calendar, know what holidays are gonna come up, know the holidays that have the major sales like Black Friday, President's Day, I feel like every holiday people just make sales out of, so just prepare yourself. Especially when it comes around Christmas time, you'll definitely wanna put out some gift guides and you'll definitely wanna do that sooner or later because I feel like people shop for Christmas so early these days. If you create content for YouTube, make sure you're linking everything that you're talking about, even if you're not gonna say, oh, I'll link it down below. Like if I show you my phone case, I'll just go ahead and link it down below in case anyone's curious to see where it's from. Another hack, if you don't have swipe ups for Instagram, you can actually put in links that are clickable in your IGTV videos. So if you're wanting to do like a little mini vlog and link your outfit of the day, you can link stuff in there. And also if you're talking about a product on your stories, don't be afraid to tell them to DM you for the link. Any call to action will work if it's, you know, go to the link in my bio, but I feel like DM you for the link is probably easier and that way you're engaging with your follower. If you're making TikToks, create content that is linkable. For example, fashion videos, Amazon favorite videos. And if somebody asks, where did you find it? You can direct them to the link in your bio, which is probably going to be your link tree, which has your shop my feed link to it, directing them to your like to know it profile. This is kind of random, but definitely worth mentioning. Every store has a different commission rate and the commissions can change. You can see all the commission rates when you click on advertisers on the reward style desktop, but I've actually narrowed down my favorite stores from shoes, activewear, normal clothing, home decor, beauty, and I put it on my blog. So if you guys want to see like a more narrowed down list, especially if you think you have the same style as me, I'll link the blog post down below where I have that whole list. So hopefully that helps you guys out, especially when you're deciding where to shop. The next tip I have is to always link similar items because you never know if something that you link is in your audience's price range or not. So it's always good to add some affordable options in there and dupes for the product you link. For example, my best selling product is my couch that I actually got two years ago from Wayfair. And I decided to link a bunch of similar couches from Wayfair and other sites that are more affordable. Some are wider, some are shorter. I literally researched all of these couches just to provide some similar options for my audience. And these similar couches have been climbing up to the top in my top five bestsellers. The last category I have for y'all is random things you need to know because I just didn't know how to categorize the things I'm about to tell you guys next. So let's get into it. If you didn't know, you can actually link to products on Amazon, but unfortunately these commissions take a while to show up. It could be three days after and your Amazon commission will finally show up in your reward style app. I have no idea why it does this. And also something to know in the past year, Amazon like messed with their coding. I don't even know. Maybe they didn't want reward style to have like all this information. They made it so that you won't be able to find out the exact products that you're getting commissioned from, which really sucks for the people that only ever talk about Amazon because you'll never 
know what product did well and what product you should be pushing more. You'll see that it'll pull up just a gray photo and just your commission, which is so annoying. And I really wish it still had the exact product because that would just help out so many more people. Maybe it's because they want to encourage people to use the Amazon affiliate program. And I actually have a whole video on that. So if you're interested in making an Amazon storefront, if you're an influencer and are always being asked about your favorite Amazon products, I highly recommend to check out that video and just see how you can make money through this Amazon affiliate program. Something else to note is that your commissions most likely won't immediately show up. So if you know that one of your followers bought something off of your link, your commission might show up the next morning. So definitely be patient. The team at Reward Style is always so helpful. You can always shoot them an email and ask for their best practices on posting and how to gain a following and all of that. They're so great, but I always recommend to make sure you sign up and tune in for their webinars. They're really helpful. They always kind of switch it up. I think the last one I watched was how to incorporate links into your TikTok account, which I thought was really cool. And you can always go back into their resource library to watch all the webinars. And they have so many like blog posts that are really, really helpful. So if you guys are just starting out, definitely recommend checking their resource library. If you need some inspiration on what exactly you should be linking, I highly recommend going on the desktop reward style and click on products. And then you can see the most popular products that are being sold throughout the whole program. This will kind of give you an idea of what you can link in the future and what's doing really well. The awesome thing about these affiliate links is that if I link to a Sephora concealer and then you go buy that concealer and then also add five more things to your cart, I actually get commission from the whole total of your cart. Also, if you don't end up buying your concealer, but you go through my link, I still get commission off of the total, which is honestly amazing. Something to note is that you will only be paid out once your threshold meets $100 and they will pay you through PayPal. And if your threshold is always met, then you'll be paid bi-weekly. If you zoned out, listen up because I'm going to share something that I was super confused on for the longest time and I'm going to break it down for you guys. So when you go into your commissions, you'll see that it probably says open or closed. Some stores leave it open for up to 90 days because they want to make sure that the person doesn't return it because if they return it, then you don't get the commission. So only after those 90 days will you get paid from that store and then it will switch from open to closed and that means that you've been paid for that commission. So if you get accepted today and start posting your links, don't expect to see that commission hit your bank account until like three months from now. The last thing that you should know is that you can pull links from the reward style app on your phone, but I highly recommend to try to do it from your desktop on your computer because it's kind of slow on the app. So it's just gonna, you know, waste your time a little bit. So if you are home and with a computer, definitely take that route. So that wraps up this video. I hope it was super helpful for you guys. I know it was extremely confusing when I got accepted into the program. So I wanted to just spill all the tea and tell you guys exactly what you should expect. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to comment them down below or if you got this video, definitely hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.